All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some more Skyrim Remastered. Thank you for your support. Let's do this. Without the matching claw, they're normally impossible to open. Since I'm certain Carlyle already did away with it, we're on our own. Mm-hmm. Fortunately, these doors have a weakness if you know how to exploit it. Quite simple, really. What? Carlyle is close, I'm certain. Now let's get moving. Yo, this guy's off the chain. This guy gets opens a Nordic puzzle door with no claw. Whoo! And we take an arrow, poisonous arrow, to the stomach. Dude, we can't even move. Do you honestly think your arrow will Dude, reach I, me before my blade I can't. your heart? Give me a reason to try. You're a clever girl, Carlia. Buying Golden Glow Estate and funding Haunting Brew Meadery was inspired. To ensure an enemy's defeat, you must first undermine his allies. It was the first lesson Gallus taught us. You always were a quick study. Not quick enough. Otherwise, Gallus would still be alive. Gallus had his wealth, and he had you. All he had to do was look the other way. Did you forget the oath we took as Nightingales? Did you expect him to simply ignore your methods? Enough of this mindless banter. Wow! It was him! Carlia, it's time for you and Gallus to It was him! United. I thought we took an arrow. It was him stabbing us in the bag. Crossing blades with you would be a death sentence, but I can promise the next time we meet, it will be your undoing. Was it him or was it her? Him or was it her? Hmm. How interesting. It appears Gallus's history has repeated itself. Yeah, it was him. Carlia has provided me the means to be rid of you, and this ancient tomb becomes your final resting place. Wow. You know what intrigues me the most? The fact that this was all possible because of you. Farewell. I'll be certain to give Brynjolf your regards. Oh, shucks. Please don't tell me. So now what, dude? I couldn't even move. Wow. He tr tricked us so that he can... She was the witness. That's what it was. Easy. Don't get up so quickly. How are you feeling? No, I saved your life. Oh, so she did shoot us. A unique paralytic poison. It slowed your heart and kept you from bleeding out. Had I intended to kill you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. My original intention was to use that arrow on Mercer, but I never had a clear shot. I made a split-second decision to get you out of the way, and it prevented your death. More than you'll ever realize. The poison on the arrow took me a year to perfect. I only had enough for a single shot. All I had hoped was to capture Mercer alive. And bring him to justice. Mercer must be brought before the guild to answer for what he's done. Mm-hmm. He needs to pay for Gallus's murder. My purpose in using Snowvale Sanctum to ambush Mercer wasn't simply for irony's sake. Before both of you arrived, I recovered a journal from Gallus's remains. I suspect the information we need is written inside. I wish I knew. The journal is written in some sort of language I've never seen before. Enther. He did that because he knew. Gallus is friend at the College of Winterhold. Mm -hmm. Of course. I, he did that because He's he knew. Only outsider Gallus trusted with the knowledge of his Nightingale identity. That's right. 
So, like I said, it was an inside job. I couldn't remember who. There were three of us. Myself, Gallus, and Mercer. Mercer. It was Mercer. We were an anonymous splinter of the Thieves Guild in Riften. Perhaps I'll tell you more about it later. Right now, you need to head for Winterhold with the journal and get the translation. Here, take these as well. They may prove useful for your journey. Okay, well, let's get some answers real quick. Mercer lied to the guild, branded me a murderer, and slandered my name across his network of contacts. For 25 years I ran, never sleeping in the same place twice and carefully covering my tracks. Mercer doesn't need to die. He needs to feel the cold sting of fate as his life crumbles in front of him and he's hunted by the guild. I can promise you if it comes to that, and my back's to the wall, I won't hesitate. He was a scholar, a master thief, and a natural leader. Everyone respected him and followed him without question. It was Gallus who inducted me into the Nightingales, and honed my skills to a razor-sharp point. I owe everything to him. We were very close. Gallus once said he felt comfortable around me, able to let his guard down. I can't help but think that I'm responsible for what happened to him. I'm afraid not. There are preparations to make, and Gallus's remains to lay to rest. I promise to join you there as soon as I can. Can I help you with anything else? Carlia? Then she's finally found it. Do you have Gallus's journal? Problem. Let me see it. Ah, oh, this is just like Gallus. A dear friend, but always too clever for his own good. He's written all of the text in the Falmer language. No. However, I know someone who might. The court wizard of Markarth, Calselmo, may have the materials you need to get this journal translated. Word of warning, Calselmo is a fierce guardian of his research. Getting the information won't be easy. Hmm. Besides the fact that there are only a handful of people in Tamriel that even recognize the language, I'm fairly certain he was planning some sort of a heist that involved a deep understanding of the Falmer language. Sadly, we never had the opportunity to speak about the details. Ironically, I pointed him in the same direction I pointed you, to Markarth and Calselmo. I'm only hoping whatever means he used to learn the language will still be available to you. In the time before man, they were known as the Snow Elves. They lived in the sunlight and had a very prosperous society. Like the Altmer? Yes, I would say their culture quite possibly rivaled our own. The Nords went to war with the Falmer in the First Era. Killed them by the thousands to drive them from their snowy homeland. The Falmer retreated underground and forged an uneasy alliance with the Dwarves who ended up betraying them. Mm. This betrayal made them what they are now, horrible, blind monstrosities, with a burning hatred of any but their own kind. Hmm. Yes, I suppose you're right. Forgive me. I've lost several close friends to the Falmer, and it tends to distort my view. If you wish to learn more about them, you're welcome to my tome on the subject. It should be on my table. He was a dear friend of mine, and a surprisingly astute pupil of Academia. I was devastated when he was killed. I suppose that risk always coexisted with his line of work. I just never thought his luck would run out. Well, for the thrill, of course. He was quite clear that he felt more in his element climbing through a window rather than hunched over a dusty tome. Ah, yes, quite an amusing anecdote, actually. 
I caught him trying to break into my laboratory. I was about to show him the error of his ways when he made a curiously astute comment about my research notes. I was astounded and in turn it led to a conversation. Who would have imagined it would lead to such a strong friendship? Calselmo is stubborn as a mule. Be careful when you speak to him. What are you doing here? The excavation site is closed. I don't need any more workers or guards. I told you I'm not hiring any more guards. Why do you people always bother me when I'm trying to finish my research? You idiot! Do you even know who I am? The most recognized scholar on the Dwemer in all of Tamriel. And you people keep bothering me. I... I'm sorry, I... I got too excited. I'm in the middle of some very stressful work, and I, and I shouldn't have yelled. How can I help you? Then you were well informed. I am at this very moment on the cusp of completing my magnum opus on the subject. <laughs> magnum opus. Selmo's guide to the former tongue. It will revolutionize the way we understand those ancient beings. Preposterous. That research represents years of personal toil in some of the most dangerous Dwemer ruins in Skyrim. You must be mad to think I'd allow anyone to see it before it's completed. While I appreciate the sentiment, I still have to decline. Being an admirer, I'm sure you can appreciate the need to keep my research a secret. <coughs> I'm not certain how many scholars you're accustomed to dealing with, but I can assure you that personal wealth is our lowest priority. Do you realize that at a snap of my fingers, I can bring the entire Markarth city guard to my defense? You best rethink this course of action, or you may find yourself on the executioner's block. Oh my god. Very well. Perhaps when my research is complete, I feel more comfortable discussing my findings with you. Let's head to the museum. You here to see the yard. No sudden moves. I gotta upgrade my speech, man. That I see in, in this game. Oh crap. The Dwemer Museum isn't open to anyone without the court wizard's permission. Because Calcilmo doesn't want anyone to go in. He runs the museum. He makes the rules. You have a problem with that? Go talk to him. He would have some roided up doorman. Just down the tunnel. God dang it. Maybe if I can. That's so stupid. so crazy the guard watched us walk right past sneak right past him and walk in and the thing went hidden that's so stupid in real life no one's gonna watch you going to a restricted area and not stop you 
safe enough. Come on, let's get back to work. This place is heavily guarded. I do just say kill all intruders. Well, can I equip that? I'm going to try something real quick. Okay, so we have to go around. I don't know. I guess we can take out his guards, can't we? I'm gonna save it here. Hold on, let me... You guys already know what I'm getting at. We're going to stop it here, ladies and gentlemen. We are out of time for today. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Sky Remastered. If you like this episode, do me a favor. Drop a like and subscribe to the channel and the series grow. Thanks for that support. Uh, take care, and I will catch you guys in the next one.